All right, so Serato Sample 2.0 introduces the stem separation feature that was previously only available in Serato Studio. Now, obviously, stem separation isn't something that is really groundbreaking at this point. It's been available for a while and there are many applications that can do it. Now, the cool thing about Serato Sample 2.0 is that it does it in real time in your actual sampler and you can even chop the sample and maybe afterwards decide, oh, I want to remove an element and just remove it with the click of a button. So this is pretty cool. Honestly, I'm not really fond of the way that chopping samples works in Serato's sample. I know some people would disagree with me, but I've chopped samples on pretty much like everything. Ableton, Machine, MPC, SP404, Koala Sampler, all these are much more intuitive while Serato sample may be intuitive to DJs, people who are used to using their DJ software, but for me it wasn't really that intuitive. Luckily it has this find samples feature where it automatically finds suitable places to place your slice markers. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really experienced with Serato sample. I really only installed the plugin yesterday to try out the stem separation. So that may be the reason why I don't find chopping intuitive. So I don't have a license for Serato sample. I downloaded the free trial. Let's load up a sample see how the stem separation algorithm works and make a beat. You just drag and drop this sample. Here's how it sounds. Oh, and also bear in mind that the sample would sound a bit better if the syncing was off. In this case, it was on, which means that it's time stretched. And even though Serato samples time stretch is pretty good, it still compromises the quality. Let's go straight to the stem separation. Let's remove the vocal. Clicking on the mic. That's not bad at all, considering this is in real time. And the cool thing is that you can remove the vocals or any element or bring it back even after, you, after you've chopped the sample. So you may decide, oh, but I don't want to have this instrument and just click an icon and remove it, which is really something you wouldn't be able to do if you use something else to separate the stems. So there are many solutions that can separate stems, but none of them work in real time like this one does in your DAW, in your sampler. Pretty neat. Let's remove the drums and the bass. Hey, you and me, and me and you, could nothing keep us from seeing each other. I gotta say the quality is good. For a real-time tool, it is very, very good. Probably depends on how the track is mixed. The better separation that it has between the instruments inside the actual mix, the better job the algorithm would do. Let's try something else. Let's just maybe use only the drums and the bass. Only drums. I think for the vocals and the keyboard instruments, I think it would be cool. Okay, let's go to find samples. When we, when we... Let's record a chord progression over this. Let me try to copy the Serato sample instance. Maybe I can mute the vocals and just leave the keys. Maybe pitch it an octave up. About time we added the bass. 
Synthop Essentials, link in the description if you haven't checked it out. Ableton Life Pack, maybe the luxury base. <laughs>